This is my trolling motor set up on a Pelican Catch 100 uh, kayak. Um, I've had this kayak for oh, five or six years now. It's been just absolutely outstanding. I've beat this thing to death and it's uh, very durable. Um, I've got a trolling motor on it now. Um, basically use this to cover water uh, when I'm trying to fish some of these bigger watershed impoundments. Um, can be a couple of miles to one end of them, so this helps get back and forth. Um, it's also great because it gives you instant reverse, which is nice when you're having to deal with wind that might be pushing you up into some brush, or uh, for instance, you hook into a nice fish and you're trying to haul him out of some brush or limbs and basically if you fish in a kayak much you know if you're pulling hard your kayak's just going to go to the fish um, so this is great i can reach down and hit the reverse and uh, that uh, helps a lot um, this is a water snake t18 um, i've got another pelican kayak with a t24 on it i think this one does just as good um, none of them are super fast, but this will push you about three and a half miles an hour uh, on calm water, which is plenty. Um, not trying to win any speed contests. Um, the mount, this is all just homemade put together stuff. The, the mount's just a piece of uh, fiberglass that uh, actually was a bread tray. I just cut it sort of to shape. Um, if I had it do over again, I'd probably cut it down from what it is now, but it works great. Um, it's just riveted to the kayak um, with, I think I use the Pelican brand or uh, whoever uses uh, the, those plastic uh, backed rivets that you can buy in the kayak section of most big box stores. Really simple. Um, the st uh, took the head off the motor and run the wirings. There's only two wires that go down to the motor, a black and a red. Um, just take the head off and use those black and red to run. I'll show you in just a second. It's run up to a PWM in front of the seat, which is awesome because it's very accessible. Uh, I can go from Basically, you don't have to just high, low, and medium. You've got 100% uh, range of power, forward and reverse, uh, and then just a little. I use a 20 amp hour uh, lithium battery that I got off of uh, Amazon. Not very expensive, super lightweight, and I can fish a solid eight hour day with this setup and um, not run out of battery. I never have. Um, it, again, the trolling motor is mostly just used to cover water. Uh, I still use my paddle for most of my positioning, but it is nice to be able to do small uh, adjustments, especially in the wind, uh, if you're trying to fish uh, slow and stay on a piece of cover. It's nice to be able to hit down and bump either forward or reverse to keep you on a spot. Um, one of the things that makes the battery last so long is you almost never running completely on high. Um, it's 70% or so. The kayak will run almost as fast as it does on 100%. And my understanding is that uses a lot less power. So, anyway. Uh, I think this is the simplest. I've tried a couple of different ways for steering. I think this works the best. It's the simplest. You don't have a bunch of rigging to do um, it's just an arm that sticks out from the trolling motor shaft um, which is it's just pieced together i think i used a piece of a rifle scope and a rod i had laying around the the stick itself is a piece of aluminum off of an old crutch and then this is a the green piece is um, this is actually a garden stake 
this thing's pretty durable. Um, it's flexible, um, it's lightweight, but really easy to steer. Um, I like this because if you're pulling up to shore, I've had, I've had trolling motors on the front and the rear, and actually I've got a pedal drive that has one in the middle. I think after fooling with them for a while, I've decided I like the one on the rear the best because if you're trying to get to a lure that's stuck or if you're trying to land, uh, you can just pull straight in and the basically the trolling motor never uh, hits ground or drags. Um, I was gonna make it where I could lift it and lower it and raise it, but I, what I've discovered is it, it sits so, uh, it sits so, it's almost flush to the bottom of the kayak. So because it's a tunnel hole, I've got it set so it's just below that tunnel hole. And you can almost run with the motor into water as shallow as you can without the motor. Um, so that's, I like that. Um, makes it super simple. Again, uh, let's see, there's the steering, it just sits, I don't have anything attached up here, I guess I could, I guess I could put a little loop around or something to keep it, but it never falls out, it just sits right there by the handle. I've probably made eight or ten trips with it since I set this up and I hadn't had any issue with this piece being loose. Again, it just, uh gives you real simple steering. Uh, there's the PWM. I, there's, I'm not gonna go into that because there's some really good uh, videos on YouTube that tell you how to set up a PWM. I did the most simple one. This is just a black and white, black and red wires run from the motor straight to the PWM and then straight out of the PWM to the, to the battery. Um, Actually, I've got it. That, that box, by the way, was a spinnerbait box I bought at Academy Sports. And I just drilled holes for the uh, access for the forward and reverse, forward and reverse. And you just turn this to go zero to 100%. Has a positive click when it's off, which is nice. Um, I drilled a few holes in it just so it might not get so hot um i didn't drill any in the top or really low so if it gets splashed it should stay mostly waterproof it's probably water resistance a better word this uh the battery sits inside a that's a little uh, cooler i bought off of amazon works perfect gives the battery a little protection and uh Gives you a handle to carry it with um, when you're moving it back and forth but it's so nice to be able to deal with just these small uh, ba lightweight batteries instead of a uh, big heavy deep cycle battery that's it uh, try to give you kind of a wide view of it here probably should have run it horizontal instead of vertical but what you get when you get <laughs> amateur doing videos. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, good luck with your trolling motor setups.